Brackets yeah. for a Cause. Yeah. You've been involved for the past years. You're a past winner. You and Tillman Fertitta split the prize a couple years ago. You're in fifth place right now in some good company. Back in the day, I believe you rode UNC all the way. This year, you've got Duke. Uh, got a lot Duke. of people have Duke. How are you feeling? I feel great about Duke winning the whole thing. First of all, it, it's one of my favorite times of year. Brackets for a Cause at Bloomberg is, is just terrific. It's now, what, 54 contestants yeah. this year, and, and it's, a, it's a great field. C congratulations to Dwight Anderson for getting 16 of the Sweet 16. Uh, hard to believe that I, we got our team got 15 out of 16 right, and we're hanging on to fifth place. So yeah. this is a super competitive field this year. Uh, you know, we, we just think it's, uh, you know, Coach K combined with probably the best uh, college basketball player in Zion Williamson is, is hard to go against, and we think they've got a good chance to win. And importantly, Shining Hope for Communities, that's your charity again. Tell us about what that is. Yeah, Shining Hope is a terrific social service organization that uh, runs girls' schools in some of the largest slums in the world, which are in Nairobi, Kenya. And they've had an amazing impact. Uh, in fact, they sent their first crop of, of graduates to college last year. So it's a wonderful organization. Uh, that's where the proceeds went two years ago. And uh, hopefully we can... Uh, we can get some money to them again this year with a, a come from behind victory. So a group effort to get this bracket together. You got a good team working we've on this. Got, we've got four four terrific associates at General Atlantic. Each took one of the regions, and uh, we used a private equity decision making style. Lots of conference calls, lots of debate. But we got to our to get to our bracket.